Hi, my name is Amber and I'm with Effective Contact Management. I'm an ACT consultant and I'm just going to show you a quick little tip on how to combine duplicates in your database. Duplicates can be a real problem. They can make for a little bit of confusion if, uh, if you're not looking at the right contact record and there's two of them. So let's get rid of them, shall we? First step, uh, now first of all I'm in the demo database uh, so this isn't going to be exactly the way that it's going to look when you're working on your own customized database. However, it's going to give you an idea of how this will work. Go up to the Tools menu and select Scan for Duplicates. First thing that's going to happen is ACT needs to know what our matching criteria is. So basically if the company contact and phone number all match, it's got to be the same person, right? You can change those things if you'd like. You can just have one of them if you'd like. If we just wanted to match on uh, birth date and then nothing else, that's probably a silly way to do it. Uh, but we'll go ahead and we'll do company and contact and phone number. And let's see what we get. So I can see here that I've got 20 duplicates in my database, which really just means I've got 10 uh, because it's 10 contacts that exist twice in the database. ACT has asked me, do we want to start combining them? I'm going to say no for now and I'm just going to take a look at this information and one of the things that I really like to look at is the create date. Now in this demo database, they were all created when I installed the database. However, in a real life database, you're going to notice that the create dates are different and that can help you to figure out which record has the most up-to-date information too. So it might be that you want to start clicking around a little bit and checking out all of the differences in your records. Which ones have notes, which ones have histories. In this case, there's not a whole lot going on, but it can be helpful to determine which one you need to keep. Now, I'm going to go up to the Tools menu and Copy Move Contact Data. This is where we combine them. So I've got my list here of the current lookup, which is perfect because those are all my duplicates. And I'm going to choose the top one, Nevin. So I click on Nevin, then I hold the Shift key and I click on the second Nevin. And next. So let's take a look. First of all, the one on the left looks like it's got a little bit more information than the one on the right. So I think I'm going to copy contact 2 to contact 1 and let's go next and the reason that I've done that is because I'm not going to really have much to copy over here so I can be a bit lazy about it. If I do it the other way I'm going to have to start copying everything over each and every time which is kind of time consuming and unnecessary. So we'll copy contact 2 to contact 1. I'm just going to scroll through and make sure there's nothing that needs to be copied over. It looks like everything is existing over in the right column here. So I'll click on next. This is the magical part. This is the really important part in combining contact records. We can bring all of the notes from the source contact right over to the contact that we're going to be keeping. So also histories, activities, opportunities, all of this stuff can be copied over. So I have all these checkboxes um, marked with a check mark, and then we're going to click on next. Now this is important too. Do we want to delete the source contact from the database or do we want to keep the source contact? Well, that'd be silly because then we'd still have a duplicate. So I'm going to select yes, delete the source contact record from my database and next. We get a little warning message here reminding us that once we delete a contact, it can't be undone. There's no undo. Would you like to continue? Yes. That's the whole point of this exercise. And click Finish to complete. So all of a sudden, we only have 19 contacts in our lookup because Nevin is no longer, uh, the second Nevin is no longer there. We did it. That's just for one contact. You're going to have to do that for every single contact, uh, but now you know how. how. And if you're having problems, if you have hundreds of duplicates and you're having a hard time, that's where your ACT consultants come in. Uh, we don't work, to work for the ACT software company. We are independent consultants and we're available to you regardless of where you are because we can work remotely on your system. Go to our website, which is getyouractogether.net, or give us a call. It's 905-336-8988.